Hey guys and gals, Bytor is back with episode number 3. If you're a recurrent subscriber, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're getting ready for those interviews. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Let's put in the work and land you that job. Let's not make a big introduction this time as I don't want to waste your valuable time. I really appreciate you, your time and you being here. So let's dive into the content for today, now. Alright, so this next question is very basic, and if you know it, you'll be like, oh come on Bytor, there is no way interviewers are asking this question. But believe it or not, this is one of my favorite and a very go-to question during an interview. It is simple yet effective to gauge if the interviewee understands capacitors. Just like in other examples, the interviewer will start by showing you the circuit or asking you to draw it. And the question will sound something like this. In the given circuit, the current source is ideal and it exhibits a step response from 0 to 1 amp. What is the voltage across the capacitor plates at steady state? Now I want you to pause the video and see if you can answer this question. The tricky portion of the question, of course, is when I ask about steady state. Are we talking about the steady state of the current source or the steady state of the capacitor? If you know the answer to the circuit, you of course know that I'm talking about the steady state of the current source. If you didn't know it, try to ask yourself, why is that? You will notice that the theme for this season is how capacitors work. You have to remember that capacitors get charged through a current, not through a voltage. So, in this case, if we're constantly dumping current into a capacitor, in this case one amp of current, the voltage just keeps growing and growing and growing. We can also realize this by writing the equation. Remember that the current through a capacitor is equal to C dV dt. If we rearrange the equation so that we can solve for voltage, we know that the voltage is equal to 1 over C times the integral of the current times time. In this case, we see that our current is a constant DC, and when we take the integral of a constant, what does that result in? The constant being pushed outside the integral and just solving the integral of dt. By solving the equation, we realize that the voltage keeps growing and growing with time. Now, a very fundamental thing here is that the voltage is actually growing linearly. A way to spice up this question would be to say, can you sketch the voltage over time? Meaning from time zero up until a certain given time. We can even call it infinity. You have to remember that the voltage is growing linearly. Most people, and I still remember I got this answer from an interviewee, thinks that this acts like an RC circuit. So you will have this slow decay in the voltage until it reaches a certain steady state, which is not the case. So be careful with that. Another answer I got at one point from somebody who had experience on the field was that the voltage will simply charge to a certain voltage level and stay there and reach steady state. Now to the defense of the interviewee, they were assuming that the capacitor had a voltage rating. But at the same time, when you are experienced and you have experience on the industry, you should be able to think abstractly. In this case, it's explicitly mentioned that the current source is ideal as well as the capacitor. That means that we cannot solve this at steady state. It's actually a function of time. Where in time would you like me to tell you what the voltage is going to be should be the answer to the interviewer. So never shoot yourself in the foot by assuming things by yourself. If you have an assumption, always tell the interviewer so they can steer you in the right direction. Of course, if you already knew the answer to this question, you would have thought it was the simplest thing in the world. But you would not believe how many people fall on this trap and suddenly ruins the entire interview because suddenly the interviewer realizes that you do not understand how capacitors work. 